Hello and welcome everybody to Roland's Mini Reviews. And today we are looking at unboxing the starter set for Beyond the Gates of Antares from Warlord Games. Now the game is a little older. This is not a new starter set and apparently the updated second edition just came out with lots of action going on in the online communities these days and one brand new faction being available for our friends with 3D printers for free. Now, the box set itself is a little bit larger than an A4 size, I would say, maybe just basically A4 size. And we're gonna have a look inside what's in there. So first of all, here is the box and perhaps you will notice that the box doesn't really close properly. There is a noticeable gap there. And when I opened this first, I noticed I got lucky, just like my friend Mark, link to his blog in the description below. And I, just like him, got a hardcover rulebook instead of the normal softback one. We were gonna have a look at the rules a little bit later. Shoveling back the remainder of the box set. And apparently mine has been packed by Mirella. Thank you very much Mirella for giving me a hardback rulebook. Now just below the rulebook is this quick reference sheet with measuring tapes in inches on the side. Really nice idea. Some added protection as well as useful when you are actually gaming. So the box set contains two starter factions, namely the Concord and the Algorin. Mark is playing Concord and I will be playing the Algorin. So I'm going to swap these with him. The order dice, three for the Algorin and three for the Concord. Some more dice to determine combat outcomes. Bases, three sprues of Algorin. Two sprues of Concord. Bases, bases, bases. These are apparently pinned markers. Also in plastic, very nice. Templates. One thing about the bases you will probably notice, those are very, very low, very flat in height when you see this. I have to say I'm not a fan of these bases. When you are designing your own bases with basing stems or the rolling pins from Green Stuff World, you will have difficulty handling those with bases that are so low in their profile. So this is one thing that increasingly has been added to starter sets. Since the rule book, there is more often than not a start here booklet. This one is soft cover, but a very firm paper on the outside. And on the inside, full color introduction to the miniature hobby and the game. Assembling miniatures, how to build the contents of your box. Yeah, 
very beautifully illustrated every single page here. It really speaks for the quality when the rules and the start into the hobby itself are illustrated like this, taking people from zero to being experts of the game or beginning experts in the game. So very beautiful painting. Oh yes. Model painting for the for the Concord troops as well as the Algorin. A very nice 48 pages booklet that comes with this game. And the final items are a gaming mat. The other side of this is actually a poster and some cut out terrain features for using in your game. Let's get this packed up again. have a look at the rule book next. Now the rule book itself is as I said hardcover. Beautifully bound and runs at approximately 260 pages also full color. Introducing the game, starting with a foreword, setting out the rules. Beautifully laid out and illustrated. Oh, going through at the later part of the book after the rules. You have rules for buildings and the armory with all weapons and obviously also all the army lists. A very nice all-in-one book and a nice deviation from say, more popular games. Beautifully laid out, beautifully laid out. And finally, to the army lists. Starting with the Concorde. The Gar Army List. Obviously my Algorin. I am actually very, very interested in the Isaurians as well. Looking amazing. And Mark is going to play Concord and Boromites. So, hope you enjoyed this little review video. And maybe see you at the gaming table soon.